Hi, if you're taking genetic class, uh, that also means that one of the chapters almost in any textbook about genetics would be about population genetics. And that also means that one of the questions on your exam would be about population genetics. And if you would have a problem, I'm almost uh, sure that this is going to be problem about application of the Hardy-Weinberg formula. And today I have example for you how to solve such problems. And such pro problems, uh, uh, solutions of such problems uh, usually easy, but uh, professors to make things more complicated usually use uh, uh, difficult examples with different word uh, problems. But actually, as long as you know how to apply formula, uh, this is very easy to solve. For example, today we have a problem. If the frequency of two alleles in a gene pool is 90% capital A or dominant and 10% is a small a or recessive, what is the frequency of the individuals in the population with the genotype capital A, small a, or what is the um, frequency of the heterozygous condition. So, as I said, we are going to use a uh, Hardy-Weinberg Hardy formula. So, let me write it down. So you may also search on the internet or use Wikipedia if you would like to know uh, about different application of this formula. And probably from the um, school uh, course you know uh, how to expand uh, binomial, for example, a plus b squared equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. In genetic we use slightly uh, different abbreviation so instead of a we have p so p squared plus 2 p q and q uh, instead of b we use instead of b plus q squared. So you see this is the same uh, formula, binomial expansion and uh, also we say that this equals to 1 and we also may use f as frequency. So uh, here we have p squared would be would stand for capital A capital A so this is going to be uh, homozygous dominant 2pq would be uh, heterozygous so p is capital A q is small a so heterozygous and here would be homozygous recessive so this is going to be small a small a and also 1 equal to 100 percent. So how we are going to solve uh, this problem we just have to use this part of the formula in order to find uh, what is the percentage of the heterozygous condition in the uh, whole uh, genome pool. So we have to multiply 2 by 0.9 and by 0, 0.9. So 0 0.9 here would be 90% and 0 0.1 would be 10%. So uh, the answer would be 0, 18. And also uh, we may transfer it to the percentage uh, we just have to move this to uh, this sign to two decimal places to the right and we are going to get 
percent. So uh, the correct answer, as you see, would be C. And in some questions or answers given, if you have multiple choice um, answers, so you may have here, for example, 81%, uh, here 9%, 18% and 1% and 19.8% so you just know how to transfer uh, these numbers that uh, you have in formula because everything here would be less than 1 and if you uh, add all these numbers you should get 1 so this is uh, how you check your answer. But we also can convert uh, these numbers to the percentage. We just have to move decimal point two places to the right. So as you see, solution is very easy. Thank you for your attention. I hope you learned something new today. Please subscribe to my new videos that I post almost every day. I will post some uh, more examples how to use uh, Hardy-Weinberg formula. That's all for today. Goodbye.